Blaine Hunt. Oh, here I am. I'm talking to you right now. Welcome back. Our feature story deals with a question that might sound odd, but it's actually very serious. Many people have developed a condition that essentially makes them allergic to themselves and the world around them. It's called mast cell activation syndrome. And joining me right now to talk about it is one of the experts in the field. Dr. Tanya Dempsey is joining me. You are a mast cell expert. We just started to talk, actually, before we were on the air, because I find the subject really fascinating, yeah. of being allergic to yourself. Explain that. How does that work? Yeah, it's, it's really an amazing thing. And, and honestly, it's really gaining uh, speed and mm. in, in popularity, mm -hmm. so to speak. It's, right. it's sad. It's, it's more and more people have it. And what, what it has to do with is the immune system. It all goes back to the immune system is here to protect us. Yes. They're the good guys. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes the good guys turn into the bad guys. Mm. And they turn against ourselves. And, and so, how does that happen? So in particular, there's, there's a white blood cell yes. called the mast cell. Okay. And this mast cell is designed to fight everything foreign bacteria viruses uh, even pollen in the air anything sure. and when it reacts to something foreign it actually explodes mm. in a way so that it's trying to kill that thing that's bad for sure, it Sure, I understand. and it releases histamine mm -hmm. and it releases other chemicals and when it does that it causes a inflammatory reaction so imagine if you breathed in some pollen that you're allergic right. to the muscles would explode in your nose and you would get histamine, and you would get stuffy and runny nose okay, and all so that. Okay, so you have those general symptoms of, of, of allergies, right? Right. Should you get tested for it? How do you do that? Yeah. Well, so um, the, the key is to test for the things that these mast cells are releasing. Okay. So we usually test for histamine. That's mm -hmm. an easy test because that's what the, hist the mast cell is releasing. Sure. There are other tests as well. And there are yeah. some certain foods that you have to be careful about, particularly now yeah. in the summertime, right, that we should be watching to see if you react to it. Exactly. Run them down for us. Yeah. So berries, big this time of year, strawberries mm. in particular, oh, yeah. they'll make the body produce more, more histamine. Mm -hmm. um, Fr Frosé is the hot drink on Instagram Absolutely, right now. Absolutely, yeah. Right, the combination of alcohol and, and berries. Yeah, I noticed uh, avocado was on the list avocado. too, which I love. Yeah, and healthy, mm -hmm. but has a lot of histamine mm -hmm. and will make people with this disease uh, much worse. And Dr. Dempsey, this is uh, summertime on the grill hot dogs, right? That's a problem yeah. you gotta watch yeah. for too. Nitrates? Nitrates yeah. and, and histamines too. The you know, barbecue season is, uh, it's a little, puts a little damper on it. You what know? about frozen yogurt? You know, it's f yogurt is fermented, and that's another thing that also causes histamine issues. But it's not just the foods that cause a problem for people with this issue. Okay. There's so many triggers, and one of the triggers that I see a lot of where I am in this part of the country yes. is Lyme disease. Lyme disease. Lyme disease is a big trigger for these mast cells mm -hmm. to explode. So they're exploding you know, uh, uncontrollably. Mold as well? And mold as well, yes. And mold too, yeah. 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 So yeah. what's the recap here? What should we be watching for? What do you do if you, you suspect that you have this mast cell syndrome? The first thing is go talk to your doctor and get tested. You know, listen to your body and understand that if you think there's something wrong, it deserves to be looked at. Right. right. So that's number one. And number two is to, you can follow a low histamine diet. You can avoid the foods we talked about today, yeah, sure. and there are others as well. And that might help things, you know, get, get uh, uh, under control. Well, we hope so. You know what? You, you shed some light on a very interesting subject. A lot of people probably didn't know about that. Now they'll be thinking about it. Careful with their diet. Go get tested, too, all right? Yeah. Dr. So, Tanya Dempsey, thank you so much for joining us today, okay? Thank you, Ernie. Enjoy your summer, too. You, too.